Now let's do the same thing with Showtime. So Showtime's probably easier um, because we've got the same kind of box on the outside there. It looks like they're the same company, doesn't it? Very similar shaped logos. So um, that font to me, I think I know what that font is. If I look at it, that is Franklin Gothic um, condensed or medium condensed. It looks exactly like that. So this is the font that I've chosen. Um, it may be demi condensed. Let's check that. No, I think it was that one. Looks very much like that font, doesn't it? Um, regular, let's see what it looks like. Bold. So I think it's a bit bold. No, we can't get bold. What can we do if we can't if it's not bold? We can manually make it bold. See, I think this font's a bit thicker than this one. And a wee again a wee bit narrower. So I'm gonna use that. A lot of people are changing things on logos um, to make it unique. So you can't copy it and do what we're doing. Um Again, problems with the kerning, isn't this? You see what's happening? See this big gap in here and here? Can you see that? Compared to the one down here, it's very tight. The air kerning is very tight, so let's just do that. Let's bring it in closer. Um, they've got the, if we look in here, the W, T, and I are connected. So that's okay. We can, um, that looks about right where I think where we've got it there. I, I see this is connected here, so I'm going to come in and bring that in. Um, and I'm going to individually select this space. Alt, bring it in a wee bit. Bang, connected. See that? Do the same thing here. Looks better, doesn't it, than it did before. Um, now, coming out again, I think this space here is probably this between the H and the O. Um, o is a letter that often has weird kerning. O and a W here. Bring that in a wee bit too. They've got very tight kerning. Let's try and copy their tight kerning. That's pretty close. Now the thing we've got here is this o, uh, o around here, isn't it? So it took me a little bit of time to do that. So what am I going to do here? Copy it again. Leave it over here as a text box. And now I'm going to create outlines. Create outlines. Let's make them. Um, now we've got a circle that's going right around the inside of the O. So let's just see what it is. It is a circle, isn't it? So let's get the circle shape right. Yep, it's exactly a circle. Um, at the start, I'm just going to make it a yellow circle. And I'm going to make the transparency because I'm just trying to get the shape right. I don't care at all about the size or anything now. The inside of the S and the inside of the O is the key bit. Now it's right in the middle. This is the area I'm looking at in here and here. Nope. So we can't use the nudge tool. We've got to get it exactly right. That's it there. Bingo. That's very close to the right shape there now. Again, I'm going to use my line tool and the lines that way. And now we see, although I was close, I need to get closer still. And there we go. That's it. That's close enough. And now what I need to do is reverse some of these colors, don't I? So I'm going to need a couple of options of this. So I'm just going to copy that. I've got two of them sitting now. Might need a third one. Take a whole lot. So if I make a mistake, I just go back because that took me some time to make that. I'm going to use the Pathfinder tool now. So I've got Windows over here and the Pathfinder is open. Um, sometimes you can take them away like this because this is the I, I want these all separate. It makes it easier for me to draw. I don't. I never use these ones. So I'm just going to keep them there. Um, now what I'm trying to do is work out what's going on here. So we've got things that are white and black. So there's a few ways of doing this, but First of all, I'm going to try grouping these letters. I'm going to try a couple of things. If I group those letters, ungroup, and group these three. Uh, now that's going to, I'm going to send that to the back. So object, arrange, send to back. See, it's at the back now. So I'm going to get these three and group them. Object, group. Now, I'm going to use this Pathfinder tool and try and punch through. So I've got those three letters and that one. And let's see what happens if I go minus the front. See what happened there? So that's it. I've now got my design. That's exactly what I want because I can make this yellow. And now it looks like there's nothing there, doesn't it? But actually, if I put a black background in it, this and this, 
and we're going to go minus the front and then we've got it there good now we're going to make that white looks like it's not there but it is my friends let's put something else behind it make that red center back bang there we go that's what we want isn't it and now what I'm noticing is that this font here is not thick enough so we've got another problem but anyway let's make these first of all and see what's happened here let's select all these fonts and make them white now we make that white and we make the background because this is showing through it black and there we go we've made our logo now we have a little problem here I'm trying to going to try and make that um, I, I think it's too thin so but the, the rest of it's okay so let's check this out let's come in close and have a quick look here you yeah, know maybe everything needs to be a bit thicker so what I'm going to do here is add a make that one point and see this black here I'm going to make that black I'm going to add a black to this see it's made it bigger but it's far too much isn't it so let's go 0 0.25 yeah that's close and let's add 0 0.25 to all of these So you see that's what that actually looks like there. So I need to bring these back up. Now I'm going to do this by I. So I want to select all of these letters here. And then now I'm going to use the power of Illustrator and come in and use their tools to get that right. Now it's um, again I'm not sure if it's exactly right that. So let's use some rulers. Let's bring a ruler across and get that on the top there. Now it's a bit too low. Do you see that? Let's move that up. Too much. So get it in there exactly right. And let's check that. That's pretty close now. Now this whole shape here I need to group. And I'm going to get a box. Let's delete that. Let's get the same box as the other one. So this box I've got over here, I'm going to copy that because that box is good. Let's just get rid of the other. There's the other Showtime logo. So what I've got is my shape here. I'm going to just see how it's dragging the guide along. So I'm going to, again, guides, clear guides. I don't need the guides anymore. Just going to roughly make that the same shape. Um, and now when I make it the same shape, I've noticed something about it always get your font right first of all my fonts close but this is definitely narrower isn't it so I needed to change fonts maybe it was Franklin a, a different Franklin Gothic was similar I might have needed to stretch that to get it right but that's the shape anyway isn't it so let's put that in the middle and let's check where is it oh it's at the back object arrange center back now we've got it here very close to the same isn't it let's um, align use the align tools bang and bang control group let's check it with this one this time see if it's similar very similar isn't it there it is I still think there's a, the problem is isn't it that this is too narrow the outlines may be a bit too thick we might change some of those things but it's pretty pretty close I didn't group everything control group so now your job is to do the same thing I've done. Now I like those two logos. You don't have to do two. I just wanted to show you two different ways of doing it. Um, um, so that's a very quick, good tip there as well. Select them both and then click again on the outside and you get it exactly right. Um, again, you can see cl clearly here I needed to make that outline thicker in there. We've found a logo. We've recreated it using some of these tools in Illustrator and then we have it here and of course because this is vector art I can change the shape and it's not going to pixelate again which is awesome